Hi guys, Grant with Gilware here. Over the past 10 years, I've had the pleasure of working with brake fix shops, computer repair owners, IT consultants, managed service providers, and internally our own engineers and computer scientists. Uh, I've seen a lot of devices come in and out that door over the past 10 years, and our engineers have tens of thousands of hours logged with experience and just work that they've done on these devices to make them accessible and to recover your data. Uh, today I want to go over a few things in regards to flash memory, um, such as NAN, uh, USB, SD cards, uh, solid state drives. Um, when it comes to these devices, there's three major components. You're looking at the NAND chip, which is the memory of the device. Uh, you're also looking at the controller and the connector. Um, a lot of different scenarios can come into play when it comes to these types of devices. Uh, they certainly are very common these days. We see them come in the door quite frequently. Uh, one of the biggest ones that we do see is a USB flash drive. Now these devices certainly, uh, they're very common. People carry them around in their pockets. It may get broke, the tip may go bad. Um, if it happens to be physical damage, it's kind of a good sign because a lot of times our engineers can go in there, they can replace any of the parts that are needed. If we have the parts in house, they may have to just resolder the connector. Um, a situation like this, you could be looking at about a half a day's work, maybe four hours of engineering time, it could fall around a price point of three to $400. Now, if there's something more internally going on with that device, such as a logical error, you're kind of messing with the brain of the device itself, and that's going to require more man hours. Um, it's going to require a longer evaluation to figure out what exactly is going on to pinpoint the direct target of the issue. Um, a price point like that could put you anywhere on the $1,500 range, give or take. Uh, so certainly there's scenarios where sometimes the data on that device makes sense to move forward and sometimes it just doesn't because of the work that's going to be involved. Um, a lot of times the, we also see quite frequently the micro SD cards. Uh, you might be utilizing one of these cards in a camera, maybe a cell phone. The card is so tiny that if something were to happen to that, uh, maybe it fell out of that device, maybe it uh, physically had damage such as being bent or broke, Depending on where that bend or break may have taken place, there may still be a chance of recovery. Quite often, we see the other issue of clients formatting their device, the micro SD card. That camera does not exactly know what it is that you're going after when it suggests that you format that card. Uh, when it gives you that suggestion, the best thing to do is to not do that unless you are looking to wipe that card clean. That is the main goal of formatting that card starting fresh. If you do experience this issue and you maybe have formatted that card, hopefully you have not reshot pictures over top of the data that initially was there because a lot of times it may not be accessible. Uh, we do still have success with formatted devices, cards, um, USBs. You know, if that is the case, the best thing to do is to give us a call. We can give you a better idea of a cost range um, if it's something a little straightforward, you could be looking on the $400 range, or you could be looking something logical. It could be more on the $1,200 to $1,500 range. Uh, it really depends on the severity of the damage, and if you formatted it, how long ago did it happen, and was any of that data rewritten. Um, another th big common device that we see now is solid-state drives. They've been around for a while now. They're high-performance drives. Um, you know, The biggest thing about that is it also uses NAND memory. And the NAND itself may be encrypted, which sometimes is going to cause a problem. Um, if you do have an encryption key, that's certainly going to help. Uh, typically, what we would like to see in an SSD recovery is something wrong with the connector, uh, something our engineers can easily go in, fix the device, try to access the data again. Uh, but there's going to be a big range of price when it comes to this. If it is something a little more straightforward on a solid state drives, you could be looking at a price range around $800. Now, if it is a logical error and you're dealing with something internally that's going to require 10 to 15 hours of engineering time, you could be looking more on a $2,000 price range. Um, so every case is different. So we do always recommend that if you do come across a scenario, you give us a call. One of our representatives will certainly answer any questions that you have. And we'd like to get a rundown of what you've experienced, what the, uh, what the issue was, what's the device in hand, um, what had occurred. That allows us to give you a price range 
to expect where this is going to fall. Now, sometimes, as I mentioned, the price point may not make sense depending on the data that you're after and the amount of engineering time or work that's gonna be involved. Uh, but like I said, certainly give us a call. We can give you a better rundown on a price range just from the information you can provide to us. Uh, thanks again, I appreciate your time.